Hi, this is Jim at Tapspace, and just recently Native Instruments released Contact Player 7, which is what we're looking at here. If you're familiar with older versions of Contact, you'll notice that this looks quite a bit different than older interfaces. For instance, here's Contact Player 6. Uh, over here is the browser. You can see I've got Virtual Drumline loaded as a library, and over here in the browser is where we would load our instruments. And if you've, you've used this before, this is all very familiar. It's been that way for years. In Contact 7, we don't even see that we have Virtual Drumline loaded as an instrument. And that's primarily because it just doesn't quite conform to the way older instruments were structured. And so uh, it doesn't necessarily recognize that Virtual Drumline is installed, even though it is. Fortunately, all we have to do is get out of this newer browser view, which you do by clicking here. And uh, even though this looks kind of sparse, it's essentially the same thing as this. This is just an instrument rack over here. It's, tends, it's minimized at the moment, and I think it's that way by default. So we'll just unminimize that, or maximize it. <laughs> and then here in this menu, we'll activate the side pane, which used to be called the browser. Now they're calling it the side pane. And that's where we would load our instruments. Uh, you might also want to activate a keyboard just for good measure uh, if you want to see your mappings down here on the keyboard. And now we can just load an instrument per normal and everything functions perfectly in Contact Player 7. So even though the newly re redesigned library view here doesn't show that Virtual Drumline is installed, it is. You just have to go back to this kind of old-fashioned view to access your instruments.